Welcome to my chambers. Can the President of the United States investigate the people that are investigating him? No, this is not a tongue twister. This is reality. Because over last weekend, President Donald Trump came to the conclusion from either newspaper reports or intelligence that came to him that his campaign was spied on, either by some person sent there by the Obama administration or worse, had a mole implanted in it by someone sent by the Obama administration. This leaves a lot of questions. If this is true, was there a spy or a mole? Was it somebody just listening to public conversation? Or did someone actually make their way into the campaign under the pretense of being a campaign worker, but actually was working for the NSA or the CIA or the FBI? We'll take the most extreme example of a mole. That would require a search warrant. If the government is going to put an undercover agent into some private entity, a church, a business, or a campaign, they need a search warrant. In order to get a search warrant, they have to present evidence under oath to a federal judge that it is more likely than not that they will gather evidence of criminal behavior as a result of placing this person, this undercover agent, where they want them. We don't know if that's what happened here. On the other hand, if the government just sends somebody to belly up to a bar and sit next to or stand next to someone from the campaign and have a public conversation with them, there's no expectation of privacy at a bar or a restaurant, and so no search warrant would be needed. But think about the big picture. What business is it of the Obama administration what's going, of what's going on inside the Trump campaign? If you ask their former uh, officials, they'll say, well, we're trying to protect the Trump people from the Russians. Well, they didn't tell them that they were there, and they didn't tell them they were there to protect them from the Russians. Were they really there to find out what Trump and his people were up to so it could be passed to the West Wing in the Obama years and then on to Mrs. Clinton? We don't know, and we may never know. So can the president start this investigation? He can start it but they can't do the investigating until the investigation of him is over. Otherwise, he's going to be perceived as interfering with the special counsel's investigation of him. I mean, where will this stop? Will we investigate the people who are investigating the people who are investigating the president? At some point, this has to come to a conclusion, whether the president is exonerated or indicted or charged with impeachable offenses. He is the president of the United States. At some point, he has to be able to do his job. Welcome to my chambers. Fight the good fight. Fire!